Hello friends, today we will be studying the demonstration of the lung tissue and we will be doing the right lung today. Now what we see here is the lung tissue. We first need to get oriented into the morphological features of the lung which will help us to identify the side of which the lung belongs. Now this here is the apex of the lung. Inferiorly we see the inferior surface. Three prominent borders. This here the sharp anterior border, the sharp inferior border and a rounded posterior border and three surfaces, the medial surface where the hilum is seen, the coastal or the lateral surface and the inferior surface or the base. Now when you orient this as apex superior, Diaphragmatic surface inferior, coastal surface lateral, medial surface facing the mediastinum, anterior sharp border facing anteriorly and the posterior blunt border posteriorly and you hold it the way it lies in your body that is what helps you to identify that this lung belongs to the right side. Common mistakes done is when you look at the fissures and the lobes and you identify the side. That is wrong. For identification you always look at these six structures, apex superiorly, diaphragmatic surface inferiorly, sharp anterior border, smooth posterior border, coastal surface laterally and the medial surface facing the mediastinum. So that is how we identify that this lung belongs to the right side. Now let us see the number of lobes and fissures which are seen on the right side. Now this fissure running obliquely is the oblique fissure and this fissure is the horizontal fissure. So two fissures dividing the right lung into three lobes, superior lobe, middle lobe and the inferior lobe. Now we go on to see what structures are seen at the hilum of the right lung. Now we can study these structures as those running from superior to inferior and those running from anterior to posterior. Now in order to identify these structures we first look out for the bronchus which we can feel and the wall having presence of the hilum cartilage gives the firm appearance. So this tells us that these are the bronchi plus if we try to squeeze the lung tissue you can see here the bubbles coming out from here because of the air which is there inside it is going to come out only from the bronchi. So these two things help in identifying that these are the bronchi one above and one below those are the aparterial and the hyparterial bronchus and between the two, the blood vessel seen is the pulmonary artery. Above and below will be the two veins, the superior pulmonary vein and the inferior pulmonary vein. So now these structures, when we study their relations from superior to inferior, these are B, A, B, V. Aparterial bronchus, pulmonary artery hyparterial bronchus and the inferior pulmonary vein from superior to inferior and from anterior to posterior these are three structures vein, artery and the bronchus. So superior pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery and hyparterial bronchus. So those are structures at the hilum. Now we will quickly go in to see what are the relations of the right lung. The apex of the right lung is going to be present at the root of the neck. So it's going to be covered by the apical pleura and the structures related to the root of the neck. The base of the diaphragmatic surface is going to rest on the right dome of diaphragm and below that it's going to be related to the liver. The medial surface can be divided into a posterior part which is related to the vertebral bodies and an anterior or the mediastinal part. Now this posterior part is paravertebral in position and is going to be related to the bodies of the thoracic vertebra, intervertebral discs and the prevertebral muscles and fascia related to it, those. Whereas the medial or mediastinal part is going to be related to various depressions. 
Now this depression here is formed because of the heart. So which part of the heart? It's going to be the right part or the venous part of the heart. So relations here would be the right atrium and the right auricle. Above would be the superior vena cava. And then will be the large depression formed by the right ventricle. Below will be the impression formed by the inferior vena cava. Again going on top, we said here superior vena cava. Just behind that will be the trachea and the esophagus. Esophagus is going to be related to the upper part, then related to just behind the hilum and then also down below the hilum. Plus two important nerves related here, the right phrenic nerve in front of the hilum and the right vagus nerve related to the esophagus. These are the relations of the mediastinal surface. Then we go on to study the relations of the coastal surface. This is going to be related to the corresponding ribs with the intercostal spaces and their contents. These were the relations of the right lung. Then we go on to study what are the bronchopulmonary segments related to the right lung. Now right lung has got 10 bronchopulmonary segments. The upper or the superior lobe has got 3 bronchopulmonary segments named as apical anterior and posterior. The middle lobe is going to have two bronchopulmonary segments named as medial and lateral whereas the inferior lobe has got five bronchopulmonary segments the apical and four more that is the anterior basal, the posterior basal, the lateral basal and the medial basal. So these are the bronchopulmonary segments related to the right lung. Now just summarizing what should be required for you to know in the practical exam is how you identify the side of the lung, the morphological features, the number of fissures and the number of lobes, relations of all the surfaces, structures at the hilum, their relation from superior to inferior and anterior to posterior and the bronchopulmonary segments which are seen in the three lobes of the lung. If you do this much, that is sufficient enough for your practicals for the right lung. Thank you.